happy Monday, my dears. I hope you had a fabulous weekend. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Emma. I am so happy you clicked on this video. I hope you like it and will give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Now let's just jump right on into my what's for dinner video. Our first dinner this week, I made pasta salad and pork chops. I cooked up the pasta the night before so it'd be cold when I was ready to use it. And for this pasta salad, honestly, there's no measurements that I go by. Um, you guys can just use as much or as little as you think your family would like. Before I put the pasta salad together, I just wanted to cook up my pork chops. So I melted about a tablespoon of butter to my fry pan. Then I added the pork chops and seasoned them with my go-to seasoning, lemon pepper seasoning. I let them cook up for five minutes on that side. Then I flipped them, seasoned them on the other side with lemon pepper seasoning and let them fry up on that side for five minutes. Okay, now let's put the pasta salad together. So I'm gonna use about three quarters of this olive garden dressing. I just poured a little bit in a time and stirred it up to make sure I wasn't using too much. Now I'm adding my mozzarella pearls and then my cherry tomatoes. You can have the um, tomatoes too if you'd like. I just wasn't feeling it this day. I just put them in their hole and then stirred them up just to make sure everything looked good. Now I'm gonna chop up my onion with another Amazon find. <laughs> See how easy that was? So cool. Okay, now I added the um, purple onion to my pasta salad. Then I chopped my red bell pepper and my green bell pepper and added that to the salad. cucumber after I added the cucumber I just sprinkled a little bit of pepper salt and squirted a little bit of lemon juice and let it sit in my refrigerator for about five minutes just because my pork chops had already cooked up but the longer it sits the better um, those flavors marry together it's just so refreshing any party that I've made this pasta salad for everybody says it's so delicious I definitely recommend you making it there it is served up and my pork chops and my pasta salad it was delicious for tonight's dinner, we are barbecuing up some marinated pork ribs and we are going to have some black beans on the side. So we're just gonna start by barbecuing up those pork ribs. When it comes to barbecuing, I try and convince my husband to do the cooking and he usually does. So he's just gonna start by putting some tin foil on my barbecuer and spraying it with some of that um, non-stick cooking spray and then laying out the meat. kept the barbecue at 300 and then just cooked the ribs on each side for about 15 minutes and then at the end I think he ended up adding an extra five minutes to it and then I just started cooking the black beans and warming up some tortillas <music> we just made tacos out of it. We added the meat, some sour cream, some pico de gallo, and some cheese on top. Oh, and the beans are inside it as well. This was delicious. For tonight's dinner, we are having this roasted garlic and herb pork loin filet. I started by searing it in my Ninja Foodie on each of the sides. And then when all the sides had seared, I just put my Ninja Foodie on to the crock pot feature 
added a quarter of a cup of chicken stock, cooked it on low for eight hours. I decided I wanted to make some cornbread muffins to go along with that pork loin. So I just used this box of Jiffy. Um, you just use the Jiffy box, add an egg and a third cup of milk. And then you just stir that up. And then I just greased my mini muffin tin and poured it in those little mini muffin holes. <laughs> And when I'd filled my muffin holes, I put it into my preheated 400 degree oven for 12 minutes, starting now. Once the 12 minutes was up, I just stuck a toothpick in one of them. And when there was nothing coming back up on the toothpick, they were done. And that was them. I'm just going to make some of this California style mixed vegetables as a side dish with some of those sliced potatoes. When the pork loin was done, I just put it on a plate and let it rest. Now I'm just gonna make up some gravy with some of that pork loin chicken stock juice that was left over in my crock pot. There wasn't enough of the um, juice in there, so I just decided to use some of this juice from the vegetables to use for the gravy. And then I just turned my crock pot on to sear and let that gravy heat up. I tried to cut this pork loin, but it was just falling apart. It was so tender, so delicious. I just drained the potatoes and the leftover juice that was in those vegetables. And here it is all served up. I just added some Parmesan cheese to the potatoes, a little bit of butter to the mini muffin, and the gravy I added to the vegetables and the um, pork loin. Delicious! For tonight's dinner, we are making Mississippi pot roast sliders. So I just added my pot roast to my crock pot, a ranch packet, a brown gravy packet, some banana peppers with a little bit of the juice and then I added a couple of tablespoons of butter on top of that and then I cooked it on low in my crock pot for seven hours. And we are going to use these Hawaiian sweet rolls as our sliders. I preheated my oven to 375, sprayed my um, baking dish with non-stick spray and then I cut down the middle of the Hawaiian rolls, added provolone cheese, and when the um, Mississippi pot roast was done, I had my husband cut it into pieces, put that on top of the provolone cheese, then I added another layer of provolone cheese, and then put the tops of the Hawaiian rolls on. Then I put tin foil on top of them and baked them for 15 minutes. I took out the juice from the crock pot and put it in my little gravy boat so we could dip the sliders in it if we wanted. That was just the leftover meat. Once the um, Hawaiian rolls had cooked up with the tin foil for 15 minutes, I just took the tin foil off and let them cook another five minutes. And here they are served up. And we did use some of that um, gravy for dipping. These are delicious. And my dears, that concludes this week's What's For Dinner video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please give my video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. Also, you can go follow me on Instagram. I would love that. My name over there is BusyEmma06. I post over there nearly every day. Thank you guys for watching. Have a fabulous week and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.